So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 28th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna cover how to create custom pipes real quick. So let's get started. Alright, so we already covered about pipes that there are, there can be two types of pipes um, in built which we looked at in the last video and custom pipes. Inbuilt could be any one of these and uh, custom. How would we create a custom pipe is that uh, we can make use of the Angular CLI itself. So what I can do is right here, if I do something like ng generate pipe and let's just say, um, I just say I want to generate a pipe which which let's just say uh what it does let's just say it reverse reverse pipe which reverse the string right so we generated this pipe what it did is that it created two files spec file and the actual file and it added that to the module.ts file so let's just see what changes module.ts contains now you can see that declaration has reverse pipe in it now and as you can see we did a fundamental mistake that is writing pipe in the name of pipe because angular also does that so let's just quickly remove that and let's just remove our pipe as well who wants a reverse pipe dot pipe and there we are Let's just give it one more shot. ng generate pipe reverse, which creates a reverse pipe for us. There we go. And now, if we take a look inside this reverse pipe.ts, you can see that uh, we get this function automatically created for us, which is a transform function. So, let's just see what is happening here. If I console log this value and arguments, let's just say. I get this arguments like this and arguments right now let's just include this pipe make use of this right here so the name of my pipe here is reverse so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write something like um, this is a test string and this is another test string well, let's just give it some brs and i guess we can just make it xml valid anyways it does not matter so now what i'm gonna do is right here write this in quotes and pipe it with reverse let's just see what happens you can see that we do not get that text now the reason why do not why we do not get that text is that whatever you return from this transform function would be actually the new value which this interpolation displays so for example if i return um code dam here right you can see that code dam is displayed here so whatever you return from the transform function would be displayed now if we go to console here you can see that in console we do get this is another test string and an array of elements no element a length zero array so what we want to do is actually give it some options so let's just say um we do give it options like true something like this and uh, let's just say i give it code or let's just say single something like that right now if you take a look you can see that in console we get two elements the first element is true as we specified and the second element is single code so what i'm gonna do with these values is that i'm just gonna say that if arguments of zero is true that means um i want 
a full stop let's just say so i'm just going to create a new string here let new string is this so i'm just going to say uh, new string is value i'm going to say new string plus equals to <clears throat> a full stop right and then the second thing we have is a single quote so i can say if args1 is equal to single quote then what i want is new string is equal to a single quote plus new string else if args1 is double quote then i want new string is double quotes plus a new string simple enough and now i can just pretty much return this new string and take a look in the browser so you can see if you carefully note if you carefully note uh, we have a full stop in place and we have a single quote at the beginning of the sentence as well right now if i change this to double quote hit save you should see that we get a double quote here we still have full stop i can change this to false and the full stop will go away just like that so this is just a very basic implementation of pipes there is a lot to do more in pipes as well but this is how basically you would create your custom pipe now you can format your text beautify it um, do whatever you want to do with it and basically yeah so uh, what what else you can do is uh, for example you can just specify a bunch of strings here for example um, well, let's just say you specify some strings here separated by a full stop or something and you can then pipe it to display it as a list that's a very useful case you might need to handle somewhere in your code so yeah that's pretty much it how you would work with custom pipes and that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you then in the next one and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications